Chi Min Lee Encounter Edition, a Tangsu XC Audio collab. Now, this is a second version of the Chi Min Lee. The first one was released, I think, a few months ago, or maybe even almost a year ago. And that one, I wasn't super impressed by. There was a lot of little quirks that I didn't like. Number one being that it's a little bit shouty. And number two, the treble quality was meh. Does this version do any better than the original? And how does it compare against the other $50 benchmark? like the Truth Here Zero or the QKC Khan. Hey friends, Timmy here. Welcome back to my video on Giz Audio. Today we are reviewing the Encounter Edition of the Chi Min Lee, a collaboration between two different audio brands, which is something that we don't normally see. Normally is brand and creator. This is brand and brand, which is a little different. But yeah, let's just jump right into the tuning, shall we? And we're not going to talk about the bass first this time. We're going to talk about the upper mid range first. And there's a reason for this is that the upper mid range is actually shouty. It has more gain than your typical Harman style IM. So here's it compared to the variation, the Truth Ear Zero and the Khan. As you can see, that 2K region, the Shimin Lee is quite a bit more. And that makes the vocals feel very forward and very in your face. And it pops out from the background, which has a couple different effects. Number one is it gives a sense of separation to the vocals. Vocals feel like they pop out from the background, away from the bass instruments, away from the treble instruments. And that can lead to a lot of people believing that this has good soundstage or good imaging. Now, the downside to this is that it is intense and you will get fatigued from listening to this for a long period of time, which will cause you to want to turn down the volume to, you know, lower the shoutiness just a little bit. But once you do that, you also lower the volume of everything else too, of course. So bass instruments, treble instruments, all those nuances are going to be quieter in essence. So this is why we're talking about the upper mid range first, because it really does affect the rest of the range very, very heavily. So now let's jump into the other aspect of the Chi Min Lee encounter. The bass is punchy, is strong, is satisfying. But again, if you lower down the volume to get the shoutiness to not be at a shouty level, you're not gonna get a lot of power with this. The power is really masked by how forward that upper mid range is. Now, this next thing is kind of a blessing, I guess, is the fact that the upper mid range is so much, the lower mid range, even though it grabs a little bit warm, doesn't really come across as warm. It's quite mass and hidden due to, again, how much you get in the upper mids. So I guess you can say the vocals, in addition to it sounding well separated, also sounds clean. Again, with that trade-off of it being intense. I'm sorry I keep bringing up the upper mid range intensity, but that is the star of the show. And you're either gonna like it or absolutely hate it. There's really no middle ground here. If you're the type of person who's sensitive to shoutiness, then the Encounter Edition is something that you should just stay away from. But if you know you like a shouty signature, if you're into IMs like the Tans Gym Zero or the Moondrop SSR, now I should say that it's not nearly as bad as the SSR, but still, if you enjoy the SSR or signatures similar to the SSR, then you're gonna enjoy the Encounter without any issues. If you're not those people, then the Encounter is something that I don't recommend. Now, I know I'm getting ahead of myself here, already doing the final conclusion of the IM. I haven't even finished the sound impression yet. Let's reel it back and talk about the treble. The treble area is actually not bad. Yeah, it looks really peaky, but due to the amount of upper mid range you get, the treble actually comes across quite nice. The decay of it is quite smooth. Now, I wouldn't say the smoothest I've ever heard, but it doesn't come across peaky or annoying in any way because the proportion between the upper mids and the treble is done well. On to technical performance time. Let's bring up my scale right here. I would say the Shimin Lee encounter lands right around the Starfield, yeah, quite decent for the price tag, actually. A lot of IEMs around $80 to $100 tend to land around this area. So for $50, it's actually good. Yeah, not bad. Now onto the comparison segment, starting with the original Shimin Lee. Now the Shimin Lee Red Edition or the Encounter Edition is a straight improvement 
over the original. The upper mids is smoother and also the treble is a major fix. The treble is smoother and more of it as well. So more balance out in that area, if you will. So if you own the original and you're looking for a straight upgrade, then yes, this is a straight upgrade. In comparison to the Truth Ear Zero and the Con, I would say the Truth Ear Zero and the Con comes across cleaner overall in the lower mid range and also more modest in the upper mids as well. A little bit more relaxing. I know it's weird to call it a Harman IEM relaxing, but in this case, they both sound more relaxing than on the Encounter. The one area that I can say that the Shimin Lee Encounter absolutely wipes the floor with the Zero and the Khan is in the treble. The Khan's treble and the Zero's treble are both on the harsher and peakier side, while the Shimin Lee Encounter is much more enjoyable. The decay and the timbre qualities of the Encounter is better. All right, final verdict time. The Shimin Lee Encounter Edition gets a orange thumb or a yellow thumb, somewhere in between that for me because again, it is just too shouty. It has great qualities, like the bass is good, the lower mids is decent, the treble is great, but it's just too shouty for me. Every time I listen to it, I feel like I wanna turn down the volume. And when I had to turn down the volume, I lose a lot of those nuances, like the bass quality and the treble quality that I enjoy on the encounter. I guess there is one situation, aside from the fact that, you know, you like this kind of texture, of course, there is one situation I would recommend this, and that is if you EQ, yes. Because the only issue with this is that it is too shouty. If you just EQ that down, then this sounds fantastic. Just one filter, get rid of that 2K uh, shouty hump and it will sound fantastic. So if you EQ, then yes, I do recommend this. If not, then you have to like shoutiness. All right, that's it for this video today. Thank you so much for watching it all the way to the end. I would like to thank my Patreon subscriber now. For the $9 people, we have Bard, Chadwick, Go to 10 k Norm, Robert, Sudi Roll, and for $18 people, we have Dr. P, Geeky Audio, Kirk, Mason, Paul, and Zar. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you guys want to support the channel yourself, link to Patreon is below. Many great perks there, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, bye. Give me the